WYCF, your local view on WVBK CA, serving Manchester, Londonderry, Vermont, and South Charlestown, New Hampshire, and WVBQ LP, serving Charlestown, New Hampshire, and Rockingham, Vermont. Coming up tonight on YCN, we have a winter storm warning in effect, a projected total of 8 to 12 inches. Lebanon searches for a company to capture gas from the town landfill and convert it into energy. With more news, sports and weather, stay tuned. It's time for YCN, your local view. Now, your daily digest of the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region. News, sports, weather, public affairs, and all that is happening in our area. The YCN News Hour, your local view. Welcome back, I'm David Carmichael. We have a winter storm warning in effect. Have your shovel ready and your wood stocked because there's going to be a good amount of snow heading our way. A projected total of 8 to 12 inches for tomorrow. Going to be a snowy and windy day with some pretty cool temperatures. For Friday, those winds are going to blow away most of the storm, giving us a few clouds and some sun. Saturday, another system stopping by for the weekend in the 20s. Going to continue into Sunday and some possible flurries in the a.m. And Monday, clouds and sun most of the day. Financial difficulties weighing on a Vermont-based company have snagged a potential methane to electricity project at the Lebanon landfill that would provide relief for noses and wallets across the country. The methane gas capture project would have turned the odorous gas produced by decomposition into electricity and to be sold back into the town city grid, potentially saving the city up to $60,000 a year. The city is in search of a new energy company to build the project after a renewable energy company known as Carbon Harvest in Burlington had laid off six of its 11 workers. According to the Lebanon Solid Waste Manager George Murray, they should have more information in four to six weeks. New Hampshire wildlife officials are asking for the public's help to track down turkeys this winter. The state's yearly turkey survey begins on January 1st and lasts through March 31st. Anyone who spots a turkey is asked to fill out a survey with the Fish and Game Department's website. They're especially interested in the North Country, along the Connecticut River and throughout Cheshire County, areas where fewer than 25 flocks were reported last winter. Last year's survey respondents reported 1,180 flocks totaling nearly 20,300 turkeys from every corner of the state. Vermont Senate President Pro Tempor John Campbell's number one priority this legislative session is addressing the state's shortfall of $50 million to $70 million in the fiscal year of 2014. Campbell says the fiscal cliff negotiations in Congress give the state an opportunity to revisit government's role in delivering social services across all agencies and departments. He doesn't think this is the right time to raise state revenue. The Quichi Democrat didn't name any specific programs or services that he would cut out, but he believes the administration and the Agency of Human Services need to take a close look at current services and shave off insufficiencies and eliminate redundant and dysfunctional programs. After the break, we'll hear from Cover Home Repair volunteer Don Sherman. The YCN News Hour continues in a moment. 